So in the previous episode, what happened was Captain Jevin was arrested, so Seneschal Braun decided to make Aveline the next guard captain. Meryl settles into her new home, and when she asked me to come see her, I was like, no. But I was just really putting up an act. And surprisingly enough, Bethany is probably the only other mage other than a mage hawk who Fenris would tolerate. Do you ever miss Tavinta? I was a slave. Still, it was your home, right? The only one you remember. Does it ever feel strange not to be there? Sometimes. That does not mean I would go back. So now we're gonna head off to the Blooming Rose, aka a brothel. I just learned this after a fact, but apparently you see the rose on the banner over there and it turns out that the rose is supposed to resemble the fleshy bits of, you know, a woman's reproductive parts. Place. No, we can do the like the place for Harlan, general, or the general him, parts. Or on him. It's a coterie thing. So there's really nothing important here to do right now, but not sure if you guys notice, but do these rooms look familiar? Mom says I don't have to because she makes triple what you do. You probably guessed it correctly, but the layout of this brothel is exactly the same as say Fenris's mansion. I think there's probably like minor details, like maybe some extra food here and there, the rearrangement of tables, maybe a missing staircase, but the layout of the mansion is pretty much the same thing. Those guys are very suspicious, but I never really quite understand if they're related to a quest or something. I Why? Am I gonna get in trouble if so, tell her that I visited a brothel? That, uh, thing you do with your hand. I can already tell this isn't going anywhere pleasant. I bet that makes pickpocketing easier. I'll try it sometime and find out. No, 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 no pickpocketing, no crimes whatsoever in my group. God, I can't believe Ben was considering that. I mean, maybe I shouldn't expect anything. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have expected anything else from him since he's already capable of ripping the heart out of someone. But still, I'd at least hope he'd probably stop at that rather and not like do something more petty. Like pickpocketing. Ferelden, are you? We are not a charitable organization, Sarah. Screw you, if you lady. cannot pay, you will have to take your lonely self elsewhere. Is that clear? Two sovereigns for premium service, one sovereign for standard service. Fifty silver, and someone may touch you briefly. Yeah, I'll be cheap. Take your coins. Very well. The ladies and gentlemen are in the lounge. Make your choice and go upstairs. I swear if I am to ask to hit the monster, pinch me again and dead. Get outside, you lazy thing. You'll ruin my business. I already hate that lady. And what is that brat doing? 
guy just hanging around there. Right, well, I don't know. I don't really feel like going for a girl, so let me see if I can get an eligible guy. There's Leonardo, trying to get a good look at him. Or there's Saruman. Let me take a closer look at your face. It's okay. I really shouldn't be caring about who I'm gonna be sexing up with, but I yeah, got the she'll ship. do. You've got the harbor. Let's tie up for the night. You look like you're already busy with someone else. I didn't, I didn't want you guys to walk in just when I'm zipping up my pants. It just reminds me how in the first game. Alistair completely disapproved of my use of downtime, per se. I guess what happened was I tried it once because I wasn't in a relationship with him yet and I didn't really do a threesome or anything exciting like that. But I wondered what would happen if I just got like the best of the best and just picked some random guy. But he had a creepy voice. And it was kind of hilarious because he had this like creepy giggle, something along the lines of like hee 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 And I just laughed because it, it kind of killed the moment. Not like there really was a moment in the first place. So the Magister put Lyrium in your skin? So I'm told. Does it hurt? You do not want to know the answer to that. They'll let anyone into Hightown these days. Bodan Fedic, purveyor of goods both common and rare, at your service. And this is my son, Sandor, who is as brilliant an enchanter as you'll ever find. Say hello to the nice human, Sandor. Hello. We shall be accompanying your expedition and providing the needed supplies. It's all quite exciting, isn't it? Long time no see, guys. Especially Sandal. You aren't worried about venturing into such a dangerous place? Not with such fine protection. <laughs> but I digress. Do you wish to peruse my wares? Or perhaps make use of Sandal's unique talents? Enchantment? Just so. I thought all enchanters were mages. Not at all. The fabled dwarven resistance to magic has allowed enchantment of crafts for countless ages. Granted, most dwarven smiths must work for many, many years to learn the skill. But my boy is a natural, a savant beyond compare. I like enchantment. And you like scratching your butt. <laughs> he enjoys his work. What more could one ask? You two don't seem the sort to hire onto this sort of expedition. My son and I have never played it safe. Never kept to the tried and true roads. In fact, we have just returned from adventures while accompanying the hero of Pareldon, legendary Grey Warden and Vanquisher of the Blight. So you helped to defeat the Blight? In our small way, perhaps. We did not fight at the Grey Warden's side, of course. I hear that the hero is married to the king now. <laughs> Fancy that. A Grey Warden queen. Ah, but surely my past is hardly of interest to the likes of you. Let's see what your son can do. Enchantment!
while I appreciate those guys mentioning my hero marrying King Alistair and stuff, kind of just reminding me how it kind of sucks that most of all of your almost all of your decisions, except for one in Awakening, will be nothing more but a brief passing, like just now. Like, oh, we helped the hero Ferelden. Oh, I knew the hero Ferelden. He's like, I once fought with the hero Ferelden. Oh, I worked with the hero Ferelden. And the list kind of goes on and on and on. Whether or that it's like decisions you made in the first game doesn't really amount to more than mentioning like you won't find better prices. the whole thing that happened at Orzammar, where I determined who would succeed the throne. Nothing much. Oh yeah, and remember to get a backpack from Robes de John Luke. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I played through the first game, the, I mean, I played through the entire game once without purchasing a backpack and it was kind of a pain in the butt to... It was difficult to keep stuff and throw away stuff because I had a lot of stuff I wanted to sell but I couldn't fit them all in so I ended up destroying some items here and there. And I'm gonna take advantage of these tomes of techniques. And I just realized they took a huge chunk out of my sovereigns. So these tomes of techniques will give you an ability point. I think it's an ability point, because I also noticed there's a specialty point, and I can't remember that at level 7 and 14 you get two specialization points, so you can unlock other subsets of combat skills. Shadow's very tempting. I gotta check out Duelist? Hmm, not really. Assassin. Now this is probably up my alley. I think I found something of yours. I I had never thought to see this again. Thank you. Unless you're really hurting for gold, I'd say just skip the side quest or don't think too much about it if you happen to miss it. Let's pay this to Fenris. Agrigio Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. Denarius used to have me pour it for his guests. My appearance intimidated them, he said, which he enjoyed. I can't imagine why they would be put on. I'll take that as a compliment. It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. You could have offered me a glass first, you know. There's more, if you're really interested. Perish the thought. How else would you redecorate the walls? <laughs> hmm. I've wanted to leave my past behind me, but it won't stay there. Tell me, have you never wanted to return to Ferelden? I have no home left to return to. The blight is over. You could rebuild what you lost. Do you truly not want to? My mother came from Kirkwall. Our heritage is here. Having a place where you can put down roots, I understand. Still, to have the option must be gratifying. 
You could track your former master down, I assume. I imagine he has returned to Minrathus, though I dare not go near the city while he is alive. No, it is better to wait for him to leave his fortress, fight from a fortified position. I do not expect your help when that day comes, but I would not turn it aside. Do you intend to keep living here? I haven't decided. For now, it's as good as any other place. I would return to Saharan if I could, but there is no life for me there. Is that where you're from? So I've been told. Were you very young when you left then? Perhaps. You've been on the run a long time then. Three years now. Denarius has a way of finding me. Perhaps it is the markings. Whatever the means, it never takes him long to follow. This is the first time I've given him reason to pause. I suppose there are advantages in numbers. Haven't you sought help before? Hirelings, when I could steal the coin. Never anyone of substance. Until you. Denarius will not give up, however. I await his return. What if he does give up? What then? Then I go to him. I will not live with a wolf at my back. Sounds like the right idea to me. If it comes to that, I doubt it will. You whine too much. If you're looking to start a life, you could stay. I could see myself staying, for the right reasons. I should thank you again for helping me against the Hunters. Had I known Anso would find me a woman so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. Maybe I should be thanking Anso. Maybe you should. Perhaps I'll practice my flattery for your next visit. With any luck, I'll become better at it. Right, maximum friendship allowed is 20 points. This is probably the last time friend will ever give you a decent impression if you're just friending him. Because other than that, he'll get really, really agitated, really upset, getting all emo and wanksty and stuff. So it's not very pleasant. So other than that, I'm gonna call it a day and pick up the series another time.